You and joining us now from the launch pad down at Kennedy Space Center, Phil McAllister, the director of NASA's Commercial Space Flight Division. Good morning, Phil. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. Before we get into it, just does everything look like a go yeah. for tonight? I know there were some questions about weather. Do you think you're go for launch? So far, I've heard that we are a go. The weather's about 80% as of this morning. All right. Good to hear that. What makes this such a moment? Mm -hmm. Civilians going into space. What does it mean for science? What does it mean for NASA? I think this is a major milestone in human spaceflight. If you think about it, we've been flying in space for about 60 years, and during that time, only about 600 people have flown to space. The vast majority of them have been government employees. Looking forward to the next 60 years, I think that number is going to go way up, and the vast majority of those people are going to be private citizens. So I think this is sort of an inflection point in human spaceflight, and it will mark a real renaissance in that capability. Phil, and speaking of that, I think some people might think, well, wait, I think I've seen this movie before. Jeff Bezos went up, Richard Branson went up. What makes this particular flight different than those other two? Well, those two went to suborbital space. The mission only lasted about 15 or 20 minutes, and they uh, did not orbit the Earth, but they did get to space. Uh, I don't want to minimize what they did. It was an incredible feat. Human spaceflight is really, really hard. But this is probably on the order of about 10 times more difficult to go to orbit. The energies involved, the speeds involved, and some of the risks involved are, are much greater. So uh, this, is, this is an important milestone. We remember talking to Haley mm -hmm. Arsenault's uh, really early on and her saying she said yes right away mm -hmm. but her mom was like eh, I don't know <laughs> just but talk about because it's said that this is perhaps the most safe manned flight mission ever to space mm -hmm. Well, we've learned a lot over our 60 years of human spaceflight, and we've been able to uh, transfer some of that knowledge to SpaceX in the design of their Falcon and uh, Dragon system. So it's estimated that uh, this flight is about three times as safe or three times safer than the shuttle was at the end of its life because we were able to incorporate some additional technologies. The, the Dragon system has an abort capability that we didn't have with shuttle, and that's all increased the uh, um, increase the likelihood that you're going to have a successful mission. Oh, well, it's okay. really exciting. Phil, yep. thank you so much. Congrats to the folks at NASA and also mm -hmm. SpaceX. And what do they say? Good luck and Godspeed to the Good astronauts. Good luck and Godspeed. Right. That's right. Thank you, Phil. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.